everyone welcome to texas on tap with miss helen along with producer kyle and countdown to christmas is on mm-hmm. you're looking all decorated mm-hmm. back there yeah, yeah did so. i ever did i ever show you the little cactus that we made we made like a christmas tree cactus i think i see something is yeah, that the here. one with the hat topper yeah I, I like that that is too too cute y'all made yeah. that yeah i made it out of pvc pipe oh look at you <laughs> look at you yeah it's pretty cool it was fun. That fun is pretty project. cool. I used to use PVC pipes. I would cut them. I can't remember. I like two foot mm-hmm. and I would wrap them like candy canes. Oh, yeah. I used to put thousands and thousands and thousands of lights out. So they oh, would like, wow. that was the stakes for my lights because I lived on a big corner and all the lights would go down the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. Had a diagram and everything. Oh, man. You had plans. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. So, that was yeah, cool. I'll get there one day. I know. I can't help but look out the window it's a gorgeous day and it is at the bay oh the bay looks so good oh yeah it's be- it is right beautiful today look at us we're like the kids we're like little kids in school looking at them <laughs> just staring out the window right back here <laughs> let's put it right back here where we're supposed to be all uh, right let's talk fun. some music i'm gonna go ahead and kick it off of course cool right now there are so many good christmas songs out mm-hmm. to texas radio and we'll cover some of those next week but excuse me i kind of went back through some of the charts and and we have talked about some of these folks before. And uh, let's start with Justin Hunter. Um, ha- he had a, a prior release that we did um, talk about on Texas on Tap, headed down to Texas. But Panhandle Highway has a release out to radio. And it's bumping up the charts. And it basically, it's just talking about that Panhandle Highway. Starting off with coffee, a tank of gas, hitting the Panhandle Highway. Cafe towns with no name. You know how it is up in the Panhandle. It's just yeah. kind of... Yeah, compares compares himself to Tumbleweed. So that's a good one. Panhandle Highway, Justin Hunter out to radio. And uh, interestingly enough, he is from Wichita Falls, where mm. Jet, Ray, Jet Ray Reddick is from and James yep. Cook. So yeah, yep. Yep. familiar cool. with that place. Very cool place. He lives in Cleveland now. Wife and four kids in a farm. Like bunch Oh, of wow. Yeah. He has a pretty cool story. Man. Okay, next up, George Navarro. We've talked about him before. He has a, a new song out to radio called Turn It Off. And uh, basically, turn off the phone, turn off the lights, turn off the thoughts. Sometimes we have to do that, right? Mm-hmm. So anyway, call it a day. Kind of spend some time. It's kind of a sultry song, sultry kind of love song. So George Navarro, Turn It Off. And we're going to open the tap room door now for Britt Kerr. And the name of the song is Take It or Leave It. Nice little message on that one. You only want me now because I'm leaving. Take it or leave it. So nice one there. Um, yeah. I like to... Is it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, all right. We'll leave the tap room doors open. And uh, I, I didn't I didn't know which one I wanted to pick, but I've come to a decision. And uh, Mr. Corey Michael, who is my perfect role model of uh, tenacity and hardworking musicians in Texas country right now. This dude hit us up quite a bit. It took me a while to get to it. Um, I don't know why it just, you know, sometimes things slip slip through the cracks, but I'm so glad that he kept trying and I finally checked out his stuff because he's awesome. Um, anyways, Corey Michael just dropped a new one to streaming earlier this week. It's called trying to make a dream come true. It's just a good, simple, strong song with a nostalgic feel. It makes you feel right at home. It makes you think about all these other things that are kind of outside of the storyline. But then his voice is phenomenal. It it actually, whenever I was listening to it for the first time, I had there were some friends around me and it got all of their attention, which obviously always is a good sign. But then also the concept of the story is really cool where he's, you know, kind of like me, like a boy out there chasing the dreams. But then there's that girl at the end of the road that makes it all worth it. So, yes, great and song. I, I did. And guess what I did when I listened to that song? I listened to the next song and the next song. Yep. I like him. And <laughs> mm-hmm. so ironically enough, you know, my nanny was my hero. So she must have been really super duper cool back in the 70s when I was a kid because the car that's on that, the cover, single cover oh, for that. Oh, yeah. That's what she had? Wow. Oh, I used man. To cru- I used to cruise through city of Houston back when there was no traffic. <laughs> throw all of us, throw all me and my cousins in that car and drive us around. Look how oh, cool man. we were. Dang, yeah. she was cool. That's super cool. Wow. 
Okay, and moving on, uh, Gracie York has dropped another one. She's been teasing this, and like we said, whenever we had her on the pod a while back, she was dropping a bunch of songs this week, and we're kind of back to the anti-love songs we know and love from Gracie. Uh, this is a heavy one, and I'm sure it's super relatable to tons of people out there. It's you know the concept is is essentially you only you only want me, you only love me when I'm when you're uh, when you're not drunk. sober, right? Whenever you're drunk. I was trying not to say drunk, drunk. but <laughs> yeah. drunkards. Yeah, I wish you loved me. I wish you wanted me when you were sober. Essentially, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, it's kind of basically, yeah. When we, let's let's see what it's like when you're sober. Right, like don't come over unless you're sober. Um, it's it's also I was I was laughing because I was thinking about how it kind of like made me want to move a little bit, like slow dance. Um, mm-hmm. but it's it's funny because that's not like a like that's not like a lovey song you want to <laughs> you want to dance with somebody to because the concept's like nope. Stay away. <laughs> uh, well, that's just where you get the line little... out. Let me get the yeah. line out. Life. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah line. Slow dance line by yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry I'm for the, the, the goofiness. Yeah. All right. And then last up this week, Lane Smith. He is the king of the chorus. I tell you what, uh, man, he's just, he's, he can do no wrong. He's been promoting this song for a little bit. I, I assume based on some stuff he posted online that this has been doing well live. Um, but man, I just, I can't imagine, or I guess I can't help but imagine just being in that live crowd with the sway during that chorus. And mm-hmm. it's just, oh man, so catchy. And it's like got all these cool, you know, country, nostalgic backroads elements to it. And it's written really well, but just those melodies, he has just got it on lock. I don't know where he gets it from, but um, wait, man, have we had him on the podcast? I feel like we have, cause we've covered every song. I, I almost went and looked that up. I, was I can't remember the same thing. He's like, <laughs> Lane. Say, Bro, we, need we gotta yeah. get you on, but that whole yeah. red dirt, red dirt under the tread, blanket in my bed. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a great song. Yes, I was. True story. I did the same thing. I was like, has Lane been on the podcast? Yeah, we'll make yeah. that happen early next year. And then also, just before we jump mm-hmm. into the charts, I wanted to shout out. I'm a couple weeks behind, but Treaty Oak Revival. Uh, we've covered a couple oh. of their songs before, but they just dropped a new record, and it's it's the talk of the town. Um, but I have jumped on the bandwagon. I. I like it a lot. It's very good. I do too. It's super rocking. It's very much influenced by this type of music I grew up listening to aside from country. And it's like the songs aren't like crazy experimental, but they're just like straightforward. They all pack a punch lyrically um, and they all have like a cool guitar part, like a sig lick, like I always talk about. So uh, check out Treaty Oak Revival. You're going to regret it yeah. if you don't because they're, they're, they're blowing up. Be careful if you got that red and black tube top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe don't listen to it around the kids funny <laughs> but then they're driving to the coast in the moonlight asphalt slid up okay that's cool but, yeah oh yeah great but there's just lyrically like there's some really good from the very from the very very first yeah when it yep. starts okay where are we we talk about charts. more music creations and some charts yes more than music creations.com i've got my necklace they have yeah. a lot of stuff all your fa- what a lot of your favorite texas country artists as we talk about they take their guitar strings recycle them into some one of a kind pieces i've noticed that um uh, jade marie Patek has some really cool stuff that they've just oh made. really cool and of course and i have my um brie bracelet on i love my brie bracelet yeah um, it's a santa fe bracelet but you can go through and kind of cruise through there we have texas toast podcast line as well that's a necklace mm-hmm. that i have on and um so the, yeah a lot it's just a full circle thing a lot of good goes on with more than music creations.com so check them out today and especially for your christmas and holiday shopping christmas shop. yeah i've been putting it off but i need to send that stuff over to my i guess a bunch of people who are listening my mama and my grandma's and let Aww. them pick out some stuff and get that you know get those i orders thought about in. yes i thought about doing that today because i i picked out some stuff for my daughter and yeah. i was like mm, i wonder if i just ought to let her just pick yeah, I I just have always deferred that. I don't I I don't think I could stand buying something that they didn't like. It's like, yeah, you just pick it out. <laughs> that's the that's nice. Yeah. Okay, Texas country music chart, the top five this week. Wade Bowen is at five with uh, Love and Not Leaving. Cody Jinx is stayed at four. Yes, Outlaws and Mustangs. Chip and Mill is at number three. Turnpike Troubadours. Kenapo, Honky Tonk Honey is at number two. And Cody Johnson's The Painter remains at number one on the Texas country music chart. CD Extraction, Texas. Number five is uh, Ken Foe's Honky Tonk Honey. Wade Bowen stayed at four. Turnpike Troubadours, Chip and Mill is at number three. Cody Jinx went from five to two. Outlaws mm. and Mustangs 
and Cody Johnson, the painter, is at number one. And we're recording early, so T3R chart's not out yet. Mm. So make sure you check it out when it comes out on Friday. So yep, here we go. Yep. Cool. And uh, the reason we were recording earlier is because I'm hitting the road with John Bauman tomorrow. Uh, oh, we're, lucky, it's... lucky, lucky you. Where are y'all going? Yeah, we're going to Odessa. It's actually a private show. So unfortunately, okay. you cannot come if you're listening. <laughs> but he's playing all kinds of other awesome shows. So go check out John's calendar and see uh, see what he's up to. Well, tell him I said hello. Yeah, absolutely. Fresh off that new album. If you guys aren't jamming that one yet, go check out John's new record. It's It is pretty fantastic. I'm ready just to turn some music on and do some jam. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about it today. It's like how in the summertime you're constantly around the music, like, especially I'm right. so outdoors and it's like all of a sudden the cold weather comes in and it's like, you just got to turn everything off and turn the music on. That's what mm -hmm. I've got to do that or take a drive Yep. <laughs> or oh, take yeah. a walk, which I've, I haven't got my walk in yet today. So I'm going to do it after we record this and yeah. turn some music on so yeah yeah i think i'm gonna do the same thing get a nice walk and enjoy this weather um man what was i gonna say we were we were talking about something oh i, I guess oh, i was I... thinking about yeah go ahead no 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 go ahead well, i was while gonna we're say talking about walking i yeah. thought about you the other day because like as long as you're like the mosquitoes are on a, they're on, in attack full on a attack tear. mode mm. turn, they'll turn you black this turn it's, every, it's this, that awkward phase of weather huh yeah, so I was colder. doing I was doing my walk the other day. It was so nice. I'm just I'm rocking along, and I turned a corner and I went through where the wind wasn't, and it was kind of like water was standing. Mm -hmm. Y'all killed. You didn't even you didn't want to see it. I was running and doing this. God, it's such a dance. bummer. I don't. But it I made don't... me think of you because I thought, oh, Kyle would be liking this. It's like <laughs> he can walk, and the wind's blowing, and there's no mosquitoes. And now oh, this goes man. back to when Kyle came to see me, mosquitoes attacked him. So anyway, yeah. Yeah. I, I will never forget that but i don't remember as a kid like mosquitoes being an issue in the fall like or like summer and spring like whenever it's like warming up and then before it gets too hot usually but i don't remember it cooling down and mosquitoes being an issue but i guess it's just it's just like the right mixture i know I but, know. All, it's but also we had no we had no mosquitoes all summer because it was so dry so hot but i yeah. do i so do dry. remember some friday night football games i remember one time when we played, I think in Hempstead, Sealy mm -hmm. Tigers played Hempstead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we went there and they like fogged the field. And it was like not winter, winter. It was probably like our going into October games. Yeah, man. So much. That's that, crazy. But... Well, on the bright side, though, the trees are all changing and that's real nice. I've been yeah. enjoying that quite a bit. The drive, I did the drive back and forth between Houston and Austin a couple of times over the last week or so. And staring outside even right now the trees are all kind of turning dark orange yellows reds that's that's always exciting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um okay business what are we doing um dylan gossett that was awesome we had dylan on oh, earlier this week so good everybody He's... have you went and looked up his music and then yeah you to the podcast with dylan you're gonna wish you had yeah he's unbelievable i mean it's not it's like a it's not like don't miss the train. It's just like, okay, go ahead and jump on the bandwagon at this point. Cause he's mm -hmm. got true that. Know, true. millions true and millions words. of listeners on Spotify. He's, you know, just got unbelievable songs. The industry is recognizing how brilliant he is. So go check all that out. I think next week we've got Zach Neal. And then like Helen kind of mentioned, yeah. Speaking of the I shirt, have Zach's I just, shirt on. Yeah. I thank was just saying, you, thank you, Tom. I was wearing thank that you, yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, Zach Neal, and then next Friday, I think we're going to uh, just only do some Christmas songs. How's that sound? That sounds great. It'll be Tap Room, just covering some Christmas tunes. Cool. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's let's do some Christmas stuff, because there's, awesome. there's some good stuff going on with the Christmas. I was looking at my list. I was going to surprise y'all, but I'll surprise y'all next week. Yeah. And then uh, the Christmas episode will come out the week after that. And then uh, we'll get through the year. We'll do kind of like a recap. I, we're not going to do a full award show like we like we did this last year, but we'll uh, we'll kind of recap and uh, we'll both bring some songs to the table and talk about, you know, our favorites from the year and things like that. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then just hitting the ground running early next year, like always. I'm ready. I'm ready for next year. So ready. Yeah. I'm ready for the, the first of the year and ready for some stuff for next year so mm -hmm. okay oh also another big milestone and just a, a huge thank you to everybody who listens and everybody who's supported us um whether that's you know retweeting something on twitter or subscribing on apple or spotify or instagram or whatever we just broke fifty thousand downloads all time so um I, you know a huge chunk of that has come this year obviously this has been our biggest year yet but that's uh mm -hmm. we're both very proud of that number and 
you know, we're, we're just beyond thankful for you guys and we just want to keep it growing. So keep sharing, keep telling people, keep listening to the episodes um, and just, you know, giving us the like, giving us the subscribe, the follow on Spotify, all those things really do help. They go a long way. So if you're still listening and you love us or you, you know, you like what we do um, just, just one simple little thing as, as simple as a share or a like, or a subscribe really, really does help. Right. Okay. All righty. Cheers. Cheers.